Delighted to have another guest, very special guest, Mike Lowell from the 07 World Series champions, who was part of the David Ortiz farewell today. Mike, always a great delight to see you. And again, just as Johnny Gomes and Pedro Martinez, it brings immediate smiles to everybody's faces to see you. It connects to championships. It sure does. Well, it brings a smile to our face, too. You know, we come out and I was speaking to Alex Cora and to Nomar actually out there, and they're like, do you miss it? I said, only when I come back to the field. You know, I, I, get, I get excited again. You see the fans and everything, and I said, I wouldn't even take batting practice for granted. What I would give to be able to take batting practice one more time and, and see what happens, but um, this is a fun team to watch, and I'm really rooting for the Red Sox to do something well and, this year. And I know you watch a ton of baseball. You are, I, mean, I don't think people know this about you all through Red Sox Nation. You are in it up to your knees. You really study. You watch all the games. You watch the National League. You watch the American League. So what do you think of this Red Sox team? Well, what I like the most is, I will say this, I think Rick Porcello really changed the mindset that I had for this team going into the postseason. I think you're making me sound like I'm, I'm a, a student much more than what I am. I no, mean, no, no, I know that's uh, not true. Uh, I do enjoy watching, but I think the fact of a power lefty and a finesse righty and a good bullpen and obviously the offense, I think, drives drives this team. Foul tipped in the mitt, down goes Brock Colt for the strikeout. But, you know, in a, in a postseason, I think that plays. I, I like the different looks. I, I think it keeps hitters off balance, and it's a, it's a different challenge. So, um, you know, hopefully things will go good because we know this city goes uh, gets pretty excited in postseason play and and the talents there. I mean, this is a really fun group to watch. I mean, Mookie Betts hitting right now. I mean, how much more exciting a player than Mookie Betts right now to see? Would, would he be your American League MVP or would you go Mike Trout? You know, or would you go Altuve or someone else? No, I wouldn't. I, I, I'd say it's a it's a two horse race. I think Mookie Betts does more for this team. I think we get a little spoiled at how good Mike Trout has been for four years that we almost expect him to do that. Right. Um, Tag toward right center field. On the move, Carrera. And the center fielder, Pilar, comes over and makes the play. Two out. I'll put it this way. I mean, I, I, I'm more of a Mookie Betts fan, but I see him play a lot more. I wouldn't be disappointed if really either one of them wins it. You know, it's, it, it's too... Uh, Two special talents for sure. Well, on that topic, here comes David Ortiz for the second time. Are you a part of a wonderful ceremony today to honor David? Very touching ceremony. You guys got a chance to be teammates together. What's your special, your number one memory of playing with David? You know, it's funny. People ask me that, and I say it's the first time I met him. Because, you know, I was coming from a Marlins team, and I was kind of just unpacking my locker, and I felt these big arms and big hands and someone come behind me and hug me and I, I didn't know if it was Josh you know it was the only guy I kind of knew and I looked back and it was like it's David give me a hug as if we were friends for you know 10 years so he was a guy that you know I, I tell people what he is on TV is really how he is you know in the clubhouse and in his own house and with people and I think that's what makes him so special. Mike, you're sitting in the dugout. Ortiz is at the plate. What is the feeling like as a teammate every time that he goes into that left hand as bad as box? Well, I, I think you you know something special can happen, and I think he's done so many special things in big moments that you almost expect it to happen. The good thing is he comes through more often than not, and uh, he sets a bar so high that I think when other guys get in that position and they fail, you're like, why, why, why can't you do it? Or you put yourself in that situation. I said, well, why can't I come through like David? And I said, well because he's David you know he's he's that that special guy that had a flair for the dramatic and it's funny when you're looking at the at the video I remember big hits in you know 06 through 2010 obviously because that's when I was here but then you see the 04 but then in 13 there were big hits and, you know it spans this is this is you know 12 plus years of big hits after big hits so um, it'd be nice to see him do something pretty dramatic this last game just a, a good send off for the regular season swing and a miss and down he goes strike three so He'll get another crack today, 0 for 2 so far this afternoon. Mike, always a delight. Thanks so much. Thank you, David. Mike nice Lowell, Mike. Nice World you. Series champ for 2007. Mike Lowell, still a nothing-nothing game here at Fenway.